So I'm like actually right now at Tampanese Safra. So as per my greeting, you should know that we are going to some Thai food today. So uh, we are going to King Kao restaurant. Uh, it's their new branch here at Tampanese Safra. So let's go and check it out. At King Kao Tampani Safra Outlet, uh, they actually have something different. They actually serve a uh, Sino Thai cuisine, which is a uh, Zhong Thai Liao Li. Yeah, so basically, uh, it involves like what we are familiar with uh, Chinese food. So it's a uh, sort of like combination between uh, Chinese and Thai food. Uh, but in fact, actually, a lot of Thai food is already quite Chinese to say. La. But anyway, uh, we'll be having like duck breast with tangerine tomato salad today salted egg salmon skin uh, as to whether the salted egg is Singapore style or Thai style is actually different so we'll try it later and then what we're having uh, braised fish maw with crab meat uh, and then with pumpkin as well and let me see ah. The menu too big ah. Uh. Need time to open the flip. Huh? Sorry ah, uh, still cannot flip. Uh. And then quite interesting that uh, they have a ha chong gai here. So I don't know, yeah. Chinese style ah. Uh. But we're having the pork ribs with Thai sauce. So I think the Thai sauce. I don't know what is it uh, actually. We shall see later. Uh, apparently, apparently their pork ribs are special here. And then uh, we also having uh, stir fried bitter god with glass noodle and egg. Also very Chinese to me. Uh. I don't really see it in like Thai food. And then uh, one thing very special here is their fried rice. It's like green curry, seafood, coconut, fried rice served in coconut husk. Uh, I must say this one will be the Instagram dish. Uh. And then, yeah, as you know, if you have been following King Kao Singapore, they are quite famous for their watermelon fried rice. Uh, they also have it here. And, oh, they actually have something like cow soy, but I don't think it's really cow soy, like Chinese style. And then, yeah, you're also having a mango sticky rice, but um, their rice is not the white one, it's the black one. So apparently it's like healthier choice. Yeah. And so I'm actually having the yuzu ice soda uh, yuzu not chinese uh, so i don't know mix korea uh. okay so yeah we are now waiting for the all the food to arrive so see you later bye bye <laughs> so we have the dark bread with salted egg salmon skin uh, so let's try The salted egg flavor is more similar to what Singaporeans are used to, not really the, the Thai style flavor. And then, yeah, salmon skin very addictive. Uh. So, anyway, uh, let's take the dark breast. So, yeah. Oh, it's warm. Mmm. It's actually quite flavorful. Uh. The dark breast isn't like too hard, so it's actually quite tender in the sense. Then yeah, a good appetizer to start with.
Okay. So we are having the fish small soup with pumpkin. So I think it's uh, a fusion uh, between pumpkin and the fish small soup. Uh, with also a bit of crab meat sli uh, slices. So don't expect the huge chunk of uh, crab meat that you get in Bangkok. Uh, but yeah, in Singapore you got to uh, lower expectations. Lah, okay? Yeah, the soup is quite smooth to drink, it's not like overly uh, starch based and then um, the flavour wise is you can't really taste the pumpkin but it's like those that you get at uh, 8 cost meal, those kind of fish moss soup yeah you get the same kind of flavour profile here uh, quite pleasant to drink uh, it would be better if there is more crab meal uh, I feel <laughs> more soup yeah. Broccoli with uh, simeji mushroom. So this is part of their Mother's Day menu. Um, not in the actual menu actually. Yeah. So if you are here for Mother's Day celebration, can come and have this. Yeah. So trying out the simeji mushroom. <laughs> Strong garlic flavor because it's fried with garlic and uh, broccoli Ooh. easy to eat because the stem is not very hard so yeah good uh, this one feels very Chinese style uh. yeah but anyway uh just for your info, whatever you're seeing in this video is uh, serving portions. So of course, if you come here and order, it will be bigger portion. Yeah, because they wanted us to try a lot of things. So we don't waste food. So small portion. Yeah, just in case you are wondering. Hi. Oh, I'm holding on to this dish called a uh, braised braised what? Braised bitter god with grupa. Uh, which one should I eat first? Fish or bitter god? Kevin? Which one? Huh? Hello? Fish, fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we eat the fish. Seems like it's like fried with, I don't know, black pepper or black bean? Yeah, black bean. Fish is nice, flavor is nice, but I would say the flavor profile is really like towards Chinese style food. Uh. Like those you get in uh, wedding dinner, yeah, those kind of flavor profile. Wow, bitter, bitter god, I don't like bitter god. <laughs> it's really bitter. Mm. But we we'll eat the fish, uh. bitter god you eat, okay? Mm. Pumpkin prawn. No, pumpkin. No, fried prawn with pumpkin. <laughs> mm. Mm. What to say? Uh, okay, this one basically is coated with pumpkin sauce. Very slight hint of pumpkin. I can't really like taste the, you know, like wasabi prawn. You get a kick, uh, but this one feels very uh, subtle. You don't really feel the wow flavor in in it. Mm. Let me eat again to test the freshness of the prawn. Not bad, but uh, I feel this dish lacks a bit of the uh, uh, you know that flavor profile. 
Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, pumpkin try this. So this is probably the most Instagrammable dish here. And as you can see, it's in a coconut husk. Inside is actually a green curry seafood fried rice uh, with prawns as well. So I think we will remove the prawns for now. Uh, and go on to check out the fried rice inside. So inside is actually green curry fried rice. curry fried rice so we are going to see whether it's there's any Thai flavor to it Yeah, I finally taste the Thai essence in it. Yeah, I mean, I mean green curry, you can't have the Thai flavors in it. It's, it just includes so much herbs that you will just bring out a flavor. So, I think generally the rice is quite well fried. It has the sufficient green curry flavors to it. It brings a bit of sweetness to the whole dish. Uh, I mean, it's generally quite sweet, uh, this dish. Yeah. So, check out the front. So, go with this front. Uh. in it. I mean the pumpkin prawn tasted better. Yeah, this one a bit feels more. <laughs> but I think go for the fried rice better. So finally the dessert. So uh, okay, in front of me is the sticky rice. As mentioned earlier, the sticky rice is different because it's black color. Uh, let me taste it. Yeah, it's like the hail or mi fan. Yeah, then um, I like it that it's warm, so if you feel it's cold and warm, and I think it yeah brings depth to the dessert by doing this alone uh. and uh, for the ice cream we have a uh, black bean ice cream let me taste what is black bean ice cream I don't know I think it's is it red bean? I can't really taste yeah, but anyway I think this, uh, this ice cream complements well together because the ice cream have a, have a good mix of uh, coconut in it and then uh, together with this sticky rice it makes a good dessert but then again I feel that it's still lacking in the Thai essence in it although you can find like sticky rice but uh, generally the flavor is just uh, not that Thai in, in my opinion because I'm very used to authentic Thai food with very strong flavors but uh, I guess over here they are uh, more into the Chinese side of things yeah so you will find that if you're coming here for Thai food you might be disappointed because you don't get a punch you get from the usual Thai food but if you are coming here uh, something like a Chinese zi cha I mean you will be comfortable uh, to say yeah 